hey, I'm pretty excited. I finally found another fish store here in Nashville. You know, I love the aquatic critter, but it's nice to have choices and comparisons and things of that nature. And I just found this place here, Music City, Music City Aquatics, 45 minutes from my house during rush hour, probably faster if I'd come at it. If I'd come a little earlier like I'd planned to. <laughs> They've been open since January. Let's go inside and take a look. So right off the bat, I was pretty impressed by what I saw. Some very nice sized tanks and some African cichlids, right? When you come in, in a pretty nice sized tank. Nice selection of yellow labs, some dragon bloods, some opies, and some South, South America. We've got some, uh, some real pretty, geos down here some juraparis pretty young not quite colored up yet well that's a pretty fish right there that little pink one it's some type of a jewel cichlid it's got some smaller tanks over here with some real nice fish love the condition of these tanks zebras, some nice snails, it's a betta back there, pretty blue betta, nice selection of guppies and little plecos, maybe he breeds those himself, he does sell fish that he breeds, and here we have some apistos, very pretty. small fish but what they lack in size they make up in color love that bright bright red tail again the tank is very pristine good size rasboras little lamb chops Love the rainbows in this tank. There's some big mollies. There's molly back there. What a pretty molly. Looks like a Dalmatian, except with some color in it. See if you can make it out. Definitely looks like a molly. Very pretty. Great plant selection. They all look healthy. A selection of equipment, including lights, rocks, some substrates. Some spider wood. Cool stuff. some more cichlids and mabunas. One of the nicest mabuna selections I've seen. This is a beautiful fish right there. That orange on the top. Another nice OB. These guys have been going at it for a little while. I don't think that's breeding behavior. I think they're uh, trying to establish dominance. That's a pretty fish right there. Some 
some tetras and some angels. Some very nice tetras. Oh, we got some little electric blue Acaras for $5.99. That's a really good price. Real good price. I think I'll take some of those home with me and grow some out. You got the ever popular uh, glowfish. I think it's a great fish because it gets young people into the hobby. They're pretty grummy back there. Great, great pleco back there with some nice stripes. Not sure if you can make them out with the glare, but I'll... There you go. Maybe you can see them now. Looks like a little tiger stripe pleco. Good size silver dollars. Uh, rainbow up there. That rainbow in the back is really nice. You can make him out. He's got some blue in the body. Behind this angel. Some blue and yellow in the body behind the wood there. Very nice fish. This angel is almost a koi. That's some of the koi coloration in him. Cute little guys with a black spot by the tail. Some guppies. Thread fin rainbows. Wow, look at the length of the fins on those guys. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. Crazy. Very cool. Got a mixture of egg layers and live bearers. Some fancy goldfish. Orandas. Some Danny House in here. Danios and goldfish. It's a pretty little fish. It's a type of rainbow fish. Love the green in the eyes. More mollies. Demisonis and some red zebras. Neon dwarf rainbows. Look at those guys. The red fringe on the fins. Very pretty. Young Rasboras. These are called Red Phantom Tetras. Look a little bit like the Serpas, but not quite as dark as the Red Serpas. Some more glowfish, but some rams. Real pretty rams. German Blues, about 20 bucks each. Beautiful color combinations. Do 
They have a salt water section too, you can see it here. These are the salt water tanks. Very pretty corals. Some live rock. Very cute. Boy, that's a beautiful fish. Look at the colors on that one. Hard to find those kind of colors in freshwater. Cowfish, really cute. I think this is for uh, salt water. They get all the all the products you would want from API, including test kits, water conditioners, and some Prozzi Pro. That's a good good thing. Cordon, some good quality products here. Some Seachem products. Some Spirulina by Zoomed. Food selection is pretty good. A lot of Omega-1 products. Get those giant Ehine heaters. Some Sepora ammonia pads. Polyfiber, or polyfilter rather good stuff. I know some people that ship fish will put a piece of this in there to absorb the heavy metals and other toxins. But phosphate pads, poly pads, carbon pads. I wonder how these compare to um, the aquarium co-op pads. That's my favorite carbon, the matrix carbon. It also carries the ChemiPure products. And the title Hang on backs. I've heard good things about these title hang on backs. I think they're marketed by Seachem, but they're actually made by Shisei. I'll tell you one thing Shisei can sure make a pump, that's for sure. This is the bank of tanks right by the cash register. Pretty plants, some snails, some nice shrimp. Here's a giant tank that he keeps behind the uh, behind the cash register against the back wall, built into the wall. Some beautiful specimens in it. That looks like a red empress. Beautiful OBs. One of these OBs was a rescue. Or oh, look at that frontosa. Nice nuchal hump on that guy. Good size. Uh, good size clown loach living in here.
so nice to go somewhere and see a nice collection of cichlids. Usually you just see a bunch of hybrids. All right, so I'm here with Alec, and Alec runs the show here. And let's talk to him a little bit about the shop and how it was able to stay under my radar for so long this year. <laughs> I wasn't looking that hard. But let, let's go ahead and ask Alec, Alec a few questions about the shop. So, Alec, are you the owner of the shop? I'm one of them, yeah. Oh, good. How many owners are there? Uh, there's two other ones. And there's another one that's in here all the time, and the other guy just kind of comes in whenever, but he helps out behind the scenes. Okay, so you have like a like a silent partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And two working partners. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, it's just me and him running the show right now. So. Nice. Mm -hmm. and, and what was the inspiration in getting it into um, you know a shop, a fish shop? So we've both been in the hobby for a long, long time, like pretty much our whole lives. And then we actually worked at another store together for a long time. And we were like, you know, we could easily do this ourselves. And we just wanted to kind of, you know, be our own bosses. And we just thought, let's take the chance and go for it. So that's kind of where we ended up. Very, very cool. And I actually grew up, there's a neighborhood like a mile away that I grew up in my whole life. So it's nice being like back here right by my house. So. Nice. So you just opened up right in your old town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, you know, I already know a bunch of people here. It kind of all worked out pretty good. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. And and the shop, is it going to be expanding or is this pretty much the size you want to stay, keep it at? So this is just the beginning, hopefully. Um, we might change locations if we need to to go bigger, or we might just wait out next door and kind of knock out some walls and expand that way. Uh, but this is definitely just the beginning. Uh, we're planning on expanding into maintenance, um, kind of going all over from there. We're going to uh, hopefully do online eventually, too, uh, sooner rather than later on both of those things. But for now, yeah, we just got the store. Very cool. Let me ask you some of the, the, the hard questions that uh, people want to know about. Uh, shared filtration. Are your uh, are all your tanks on a, um, a, is there a way these tanks could cross contaminate uh, in, let's say, water changes and things like that? Or do you have them on separate systems? So water changes can be a problem um, just because, like for fresh water, uh, I just use the same two hoses, one for draining, one for filling. Um, but if I ever have a tank where I know that they're sick, I'll actually take a container of some salt water, put some meds in it, and I'll dip the siphon hose between each one. Um, thankfully, I don't ever really have issues with that. Uh, if I ever do, it's something maybe like ick. Uh, but for the most part, that's not an issue. Uh, all the filtration on the freshwater side is plumbed together, um, but it's air, uh, airline, and it's all sponge filters, so there's nothing to worry about there. Uh, for salt water, each system is self-contained, and each one is maintained individually. So there's never a chance for contamination on that Perfect. one. So it's not like you've got a big shared sump. Yeah, yeah. No shared yeah. sumps. Um, yeah, none of those issues. That come with that. Okay. Yeah, that's that's way better than what you not, would run into like in a big box store or something like that. Mm -hmm. We wanted to avoid that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very good. Anything else that you can tell me about the shop? Like like here in Nashville, I mean, we have, we have of course, like probably one 800-pound gorilla that you're aware of. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and then there's uh, a few other shops. Why... Why would someone want to come here? How's, let's say I called up. I'm well, like I did today. It's 45 minutes away. Yeah. Why would I want to come into this shop? What would be the, the allure or the draw to this shop? Well, a lot of the fish that are on our freshwater side are bred here, especially like Africans. I'm big on Africans. All the ones that were on the video from behind the counter, I'm breeding those. Nice. Uh, so those are available. We're able to park and breed cheap because of that. Um, and honestly, we just we kind of wanted to be somewhere out of the way. Uh, for everywhere else that offered something a little different. Of course, we have, you know, Tetris and stuff, but we try to really get in the more unique stuff that you won't find out the street. Um, so that, especially on the freshwater side, on the saltwater side, um, we just try to offer really good prices on that. Uh, and just somewhere else to stop by and check out. Um, since we're kind of small right now, it's nothing too, too crazy. Um, but that's kind of what we're going for. Very, very good. I like it. I like what I'm saying. Uh, let me ask you a personal, a selfish question. Mm -hmm. Do you breed the electric blue cars? Uh, I don't. I actually have a local guy for that. Uh, okay, but they are local water. Yeah. Uh, okay, perfect. A, a lot of our stuff is local bread. Even if it's not by me, uh, if I can find someone that breeds it locally, I will, I will go over that before a chain store any day. So I would say about a good quarter to a half of our fresh water is locally bred. Um, hopefully it might even expand into saltwater someday, like up there on PJ Cardinals and clowns and stuff like that. But that's kind of all that is. That, yeah, that, that can get pretty pretty <laughs> exotic. Yeah. All right. Well, on that note, I want to thank you for letting me be here and uh, intrude and talk to me. And can you grab me three electric blue cars? Absolutely, I can. Perfect. Let's buy those. Oh, cool. <laughs>
exceptional netting skills. One of the qualifications we look for for shops. <laughs> yeah. How, tra how traumatic was the netting? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be real gentle with them. That's awesome. Well, I'll get them home and get them acclimated. Now that was a really cool shop. If you're anywhere near 4963 Lebanon Pike in Nashville, check them out. They do breed a lot of their own African cichlids. And I was able to pick up some uh, three real nice electric blue Acaras for a lot less than I could get them anywhere else. Very cute little guys. I'm going to take them home, get them acclimated, grow them out, and eventually they'll end up in that 90-gallon uh, rimless tank. So uh, thank you very much, Music City, for letting me uh, invade the shop and spend some time with me. And now I'm going to jump into rush hour traffic and get back home. All right, thanks for watching, my friends. Hope to see you on Saturday for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream, 11 a.m. Central on Saturdays. Great group of people talking about fish. And if you like the channel, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thank you, my friends. See you again soon. Bye-bye.